Hey guys, it's uh, it's time for a Terran VOD on the Korean server. Uh, there may be some coughing in this video since I'm a little bit sick. Let's see. And it's 9.07 p.m. on October 29th, 2012. So I should probably get going to bed within a few hours. So hopefully this won't last too long. There we go. Uh, I think I've played this guy before. Maybe it's on the NA server that I played a guy with the name Joker, because it's not the most uncommon name. <coughs> People like jokes. You guys know how it is. TVP is not my most solid by Bo Young matchup. Hopefully some of people will understand that. Anyways, uh, I'm, it's not, yeah, it's not my best, but I'm still pretty good at it. However, uh, these Korean people always just do weird all-ins, or really weird but greedy builds. And they can be somewhat annoying to deal with. Particularly the greedy players who really know what they're doing. The few times I've played High Masters Protoss, it's, it's really tough. Let's just put it that way. Because they're like taking the most greedy stuff, but they have like their upgrades and their storm and whatever they need to defend perfectly synced. Jesus. Stupid SCVs. Just want you guys. No. Let's see how long before you unstack yourself. It's also somewhat hard to mineral stack on this. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what happens when I'm not paying attention. And they send their nine or it's their nine scout, or however early that was. That was really early. Most scouts would hit like right now at 240 or something. I guess they really wanted to get into my base for some reason. Actually, here, let's just check if he proxied something. Because that's certainly a reason. Okay. Okay, well it seems that he's doing a super early expand. And this is what you do against super early expands, because he had no zealot and he was chronoing his probes for what seemed to be a third time. You go double gas and then you're gonna go Hellion Banshee. That's what I've heard. That's what the word on the street is. I've never actually done this before in this matchup, but I know how to go Hellion Banshee really well. <laughs> Hopefully he's expanding. This is gonna get really weird really fast if he's not. 
工程車準備完成。升級完成。工程車準備完成。尾隨在後。工程車。附屬建築完成。工程車準。工程車準備完成。工程車準備完成。工程車準備。附屬建築完成。工程車準備完成。設置好在地獄狂歡吧。OK,so okay, I got my home. 哪裡比較熱鬧啊?你就需要更多的補給站。This is going to be kind of annoying. 工程車準備完成。準備好在地獄狂歡吧。壞消息嗎?發生了什麼事了?金礦不足。是。工程車準備完成。金礦不足。日上三。把它点燃吧。好吧，咱们就这么做吧。当然好了。工程车准备完，准备好在地狱狂欢吧。我们就在此好。冲啊！整天都工程车准备完成。说吧，老板。哦。工程车准备完成。谁说？ 工程車準備完成。Don't go there, Banshee. I'm在等你說。你就在這。工程車準備完成。確認完成。工程車準備完成。工程車準備完成。你去時間收收。說吧,老師。說吧。哪裡比較熱鬧啊? Uh, okay, that's a really smart thing to do. Looks like this may turn into a macro fest. Boom,宝贝。求救,求救。工程车准备完成。信息接收中。发生了什么事?重要工。我非常受。尾随在后。想尝尝我的厉害吗,小子。哦,再进行了。工程车准备完成。附属建筑需要更多的补给站。你到底要不要下命令啊？嗨，别吓人。研发完成。重金属石军。研发完成。我时间点就行。工程车准备完成。升级完成。可不，宝贝。工程车准。高能瓦斯不足。让开，要通过了。工程车准。I thought I made a second medevac, whatever. 
Right, if that's all he has, this is gonna be good. So yeah, he's just been hurt too much economically by the Hellions. And so he doesn't have what he needs. He has no splash damage. She's got it. Oh, Didn't really mean to have all those guys over there. So now we've got our 3 3 upgrades. We are just complete domination. Oh, we've got even more. Sorry dude, no third base is allowed this game, that's, that's the rule. Oh, this is gonna be good. If my army wasn't so much bigger than it is, that would have been kind of a dumb idea, but yeah, so that's how you kill Greedy Protoss. Now you guys may be wondering why did I think he was fast expanding? Well, let's go into the replay and I'll just go over that briefly. <clears throat> now, how I know these things is something called Game Sense, which I've developed over my time playing, and I'm sure you guys will the more you play, but you can just kind of know, and you, like, it clicks very fast what they're going to do. So, this is the normal standard two chronos, normal gate, normal gas timing. When he scouts, he sees that I'm going one Rax FE, so he thinks that um, he thinks that uh, I'm going one racks FE, which means that he can take a fast expansion in response since he doesn't have to worry about anything that could damage him except a player who goes Hellions and Banshees like that, although that is defendable. You just have to prepare specifically for it, but even then it can still be kind of tough. So, when I scouted into his base, I noticed that he had chronoed his Nexus a third time. Now the only reason you do that is if you didn't need to chrono anything else and you were going for a good economy. Second thing, he only had one gas. So more probes on minerals, more money for Nexus, and, uh, less money for tech types of things. I saw this one pylon and I assumed he had a second pylon somewhere else which ended up being right here. And that means that without that third pylon He's either proxying something, or he's saving up to buy a Nexus. Now, I know he's not proxying something, because there's nothing he could proxy with only one gas, and there's no reason he would proxy if he's chronoing his Nexus three times. So, 
the last thing, uh, and kind of the main reason I thought that this was because he wasn't building a zealot. So he's doing all these things in preparation to save up and use a nexus. And he waits for my probe to, or this guy to leave. He does get another pylon, but then immediately he gets his nexus. Normally what people will do is they get their nexus, then build their pylon on the low ground with their nexus. Anyways, so let's just go around here a little bit more. He's just sitting here trying to deny scouting. And I go straight for the Alien Banshee. You can't wait even a second, otherwise they'll have too much. He wastes a few force fields, but yeah, look. The reason they work is because, unlike um, with the Zerglings and Marines and stuff, uh, Stalkers and Sentries don't kill Zealots fast, and um, zeal or don't kill Hellions fast, and Zealots can be kited easily. So I can't can easily just run in and roast 10 probes right off the bat. Terran should never have the SCV, or the worker income, or worker, sorry guys, the worker advantage, because Protoss has Chrono Boost, that's their pretty much, I guess you could call it racial passive. Terran have mules, and they count as four workers, so I technically have 40 workers right now and I should be dropping that other mule. I should have two mules down at a time. <coughs> so he continues to rebuild his probes. He lost another. So also, with these Hellions and Banshees, I'm just investing a little bit, and I can get all this stuff behind it. He has to invest into lots of observers, lots of stalkers, which he doesn't want because stalkers aren't that great in straight-up fights. You'd rather have zealots. Lots of sentries, same thing as stalkers, kind of a waste of money. And a robo, and he even goes for a stargate. He also tries to get a third nexus to compensate for the fact that his economy is pretty much screwed. Uh... So then I come in here, kill even more probes. He had all of his army right here. He still could not stop, stop from losing another seven probes. So right now, I'm ahead in the workers, and I've got four mules. So that's uh, four times four, 16. I've got... So I'm at, my economy is so good with those three command centers, and I... All, and I was able to keep him on his at his base with just those Hellions and Banshees and even do damage, that I was able to invest in all of this production, all of these upgrades, and all of this economy, and now it's starting to pay itself, or pay for itself. So, in order to defend what I had, he had to invest in all this defensive stuff, when in order, and he needs uh, stuff like Colossi or Storm in order to kill my... Bio units. Also, these Banshees are really helpful because they force more Stalkers. Anyway, so I do a really good amount of damage. I sniped his third Nexus. I wasn't planning on killing him with this push, but I did do heavy damage, killed a bunch more workers. I've secured my fourth base, and I just, I'm double his supply right now. I am just so far ahead. He's desperately trying to tech to Templar and get his upgrades. I'm getting my... 3-3 three, three upgrades. Protoss is usually ahead since they can chrono. And I've just got so much stuff compared to him because I was so far ahead from the start. Anyways, that's my extra analysis. Hopefully I didn't take too long. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the content.